Dawn has not yet come to Collinwood. The earth hovers between night and day, as though terrified to bring into being the days and nights that lie ahead. But time is indifferent to terror, and the earth obeys the primeval command, creating nights and days, creating the moment when fear no longer stalks, but stops to strike. wanted to make sure that you weren't dead. to make sure that you were all right. What made you think I wasn't? I don't know. Well, what did you think might have happened? I don't know. And why would I be dead? People die. David. May I go to my room now? Can't you tell me what you were afraid of? Did, did you have a bad dream? I don't think so. I don't remember. But nobody's trying to hurt me. Are they? I don't know. Come on. I'll, I'll take you back to your room. Wait a second. Why? I want to give you this. A toy soldier? Yes, I want you to have it. But why? Sarah gave it to me. Sarah? Yes. And it protects people. David, I, I don't need protection. Yes, you do. Take it, please, and keep it with you so nothing will happen to you. Please. All right. Carol, are you all right? Mother, come in. I thought I heard you scream. David, what are you doing in here? I came to give Carolyn my toy soldier. I, I didn't mean to scare her. What? It's all right. David just came to give me the soldier, and now he wants to go back to his room and go to sleep. Isn't that right, David? Yes, I can sleep now that I know you're all right. What are you talking? I I'm fine. And I have the soldier. Good night, David. Good night. Mm -hmm. David? Yes? Thank you. It, it was very thoughtful of you. And, and very kind. Now get some sleep. Yes, I'll go to sleep. What is it? Please tell me. There's nothing we can do for him. What do you mean? He came in here because he was sure that something had happened to me. A and he gave me the toy soldier. He said that his friend Sarah had given it to him and, and it would protect me. What are we going to do? You saw the way he was? A thousand miles away. His voice, his eyes. I know, I know. If only you weren't so quiet. It's almost as if he's listening to something we can't hear. As if everything he says is a response to something else and not to what's really happening. He's getting worse, isn't he? I'm 
So you see what you have to do? No. No, I can't. I, I can't send him away. Mother, if it's for his own good. But he'll think it's a punishment. He might think that now. But after he's better, he'll know that it was for him that we did it, to help him. Oh, I was so sure that being around people he loved, and who loved him. Mother, we both know that love isn't always enough. If only we could convince him that his fears are only his imagination. But are we sure they are all imagination? Well, of course we are. We know that he didn't see a coffin in the basement in the old house with Barnabas in it. We know that Barnabas doesn't want to harm him. I guess you're right. But he did have that feeling about Bert going away. That was just a child's anxiety. It was only a coincidence that something really did happen. Maybe. How can you say that? You don't believe these things he's saying about Barnabas. No. No, of course not. I don't know where these terrors come from. But whatever, they've just got to stop. We can't let them go on. Even if it means... Sending him away. Maybe he won't have to be gone too long. That's my only hope. David gave me this to protect me. If only I had some protection to give him. It's almost morning. I know. You've, you've given up the idea of, of sitting here and waiting for the sun to rise, haven't you? Yes. Then do you think it's wise to sit here like this? I'll be going in a minute. It's been an interesting night. What do you mean? I've been granted privileges given to few other men. What privileges? For most men, time moves slowly. So very slowly. They don't even realize it. But time has revealed itself to me in a very special way. Time is a rushing, howling wind raging past me, withering me in one relentless blast, and then continues on. I have been sitting here passively, submissive to its rage, watching its work. Listen. Time howling, withering. Maybe, maybe it's just a, a temporary reaction. Maybe is a word I don't want to hear. I have no way of knowing. If we'd gone ahead at the proper pace, I could have detected results like this and and possibly adjust it to them, but now... My touch disturbs you, doesn't it? No. There's power in these hands still, so be careful. Be very careful. You have until tonight to find a way. There's only one thing I can think of to try. And what is that? Attempt a counter-reaction. And what will that achieve? Well, if it's successful, you'll be as you were before last night. But if it's not successful? I, I can't be sure. But you must have some idea, don't you? I, I think we should wait until we know the full effects of the last treatment. I know the full effects. I shall age to the years since I was born. Almost 200 of them. And who knows what beyond that? Perhaps only dust. It's almost time for me to go. 
Tonight, you must counteract what you have done. Is that clear? We've got to wait. I won't wait. Tonight, there must be another treatment, and it will be successful. And, and if it isn't? I still have powers beyond your knowledge, even beyond your imagination. I'm past being frightened. Oh? Where there's life, there's always fear. But life has an end. My powers go beyond the grave. There is no escape but to complete your task. Give me my life, or I promise you something worse than death. Now you have the entire day to prepare for tonight's treatment. Come, take my hand to show we are in agreement. Giving you that. Sarah! He told you my name. Sarah, how did you get in here? Didn't David tell you? Tell me what? All about me. Uh, I I'm not sure I understand. I think that I'm a ghost. A matter of fact, I'm sure I am. But I, I don't believe in. Yes, you do, or else I wouldn't have been able to come here. You're not afraid of me, are you? No. If you are, I don't understand. Well, what do you want? Don't send David away. How did you know about that? I don't know, I just do. Well, Sarah, we have to send David away. It's the only way we can help him. But if you send David away, I won't have anyone to play with. Well, maybe it isn't good for David to play with you. Why do you say that? Because it leads him into believing all sorts of things that aren't true. How do you know they're not true? Well, they're just not. They couldn't be. He wasn't lying about me, was he? No. Well, then, maybe David's acting the way he is because no one will believe him. But it, it isn't possible. People say I'm not possible, but I am. Why doesn't that make the rest possible? Sarah, maybe you don't know the stories David's been telling. Why do you think that? Because they're too fantastic. And besides, they've all been proved false. How do you know they've been proven false? Sarah, are you trying to tell me that Barnabas actually... Yes. Who is it? May I come in? Well, I... Sarah. He's thinking in there. Carol, now I come in. Yes. I, I thought Vicky was in here. Uh, no. Honey, I thought I heard you talking to her. No, I, I was just talking to myself while I was straightening up the room. Well, I haven't told her about my decision to send David away. I better go and find her. Uh, Mother, I, I was thinking. Yes. What is it? Maybe we shouldn't send David away after all. But you saw the way he was acting when he came in here last night. I, I know. Well, what but made you? Ch what made you change your mind? Uh, nothing. I mean, I, I was just thinking it over. Carolyn, now is not the time to be weak and sentimental. Mother, I'm not being weak, but I don't think we should do it. Why? Well, I, I, I can't explain it. Can't you wait just a few days? Maybe we've waited too long as it is. Please, I have my reasons for asking. 
You're not beginning to believe these things he's saying, are you? No. Do you know something I don't know? No. Not, not really. Something's happened to change your mind. What is Please, it? Please, just trust me. And wait a few days before doing anything. I don't know. Just a day or two. Please, not for my sake, but for David. Can't you tell me what it is? I, I will. Sometime. M maybe very soon. But not now. Please. A day or two? That's all I ask. Well, maybe. Carolyn, what is it? Nothing. I think you made the right decision. I certainly hope so. going to happen to me. Wouldn't Sarah have told me? Sarah? I saw her today. No. No, you didn't. David, I thought you'd be pleased that I'd finally seen her. I don't want you to see Sarah. I don't. But now I know it's possible that you were telling the truth about all those other things. Sarah shouldn't have come to you. She shouldn't have. I don't want her to. But why? She came to Dr. Woodard, and, and he believed what I was telling him. And now he's dead. David, Dr. Woodard died a perfectly natural death. He saw Sarah, and, and then he died. I don't want you to see Sarah. David, listen to me. Doesn't it matter that someone believes you? No, I don't want you to believe me. I don't want anyone to believe me. Dr. Woodard believed me. How can me. I convince you that, that his believing you had nothing to do with his death? Everything I said was a lie. All of it, none of it was true. I made it all up. Including Sarah? He, including Sarah. David, that is not true. I've seen Sarah. I know you didn't lie about her. And, and maybe you didn't lie about the rest of it either. Yes, I did. I did. I did. It's all right. It's all right. Now I can help you. At last, I can help you. Hurry. For me, moments are months, years. Now hurry. I must tell you one thing. I'm not interested. Start the treatment. I've done all I can for you. In a way, I've, I've given you my life. I'm not interested in your life. If my calculations are correct, this treatment should be successful. But whatever happens, I want you to know that I've done everything I could to help you. This sounds suspiciously like a farewell. I warn you, farewells are not possible. I realize that. Whatever happens, I hope some part of you realizes that I never wished you anything but good. You never wished me anything at all. Your sole interest was in your experiments and your treatments. That's not completely true. It's true enough. Now, please, begin. All right. Are you ready? Yes. For whatever happens. 
I suggest that you be equally prepared. Barnabas! <laughs> 